Good morning, everyone. My name is Marcel Denny, and today we'll be talking about the ID clock reaction. Now, vitamin C is important for many ways, but did you know that you could use vitamin C to do a cool chemistry experiment? You can do this using common household items like spray starch, or you could use cornstarch, or a vitamin source would be redoxone. We can use 3% hydrogen peroxide solution and our ionine solution. All can be located at local supermarkets and pharmacies. Now, we have our solution A, which has in vitamin C and our iodine solution. In solution B, we have our 3% hydrogen peroxide and our spray starch. Now, what we'll be doing now in each of these glasses, as you say first, there is water in them, the top three glasses. In this one, we have one teaspoon of water. In the second one, we have two teaspoons of water. And in the final one, we have four teaspoons of water. I'm going to add one teaspoon of solution A to each of the front of like each of these following glasses. Now I'm going to take three teaspoons of solution B and add it to the glasses behind. I must point out that there's nothing in the glasses, it's completely empty, okay? So three teaspoons in each of these glasses. Now, what we're going to do next is the fun part. We're going to add the glasses in the back, which have been our solution B, to the glasses in the front, which have our solutions A in there with some water. Remember, one teaspoon water, two teaspoons water, and three teaspoons of water, four teaspoons of water, sorry. So watch what happens. So as you add it just to square it a bit, Ensure everything is mixed properly. Now it's called the iron clock reaction because it will change color based on the time and the amount of ascorbic acid in. So we see our first solution changing. Our second solution is lacking behind. It's not there as yet, but it's starting to change. Let's give it a bit more time. And we see some form of changing occurring. See, it's changing now. Now, our final solution, which will be the longest one, is going to be at the furthest behind. But well, let me explain what is happening in the meantime. Oh, look at that. It's changing. Ain't chemistry amazing? <laughs> Remember, we learned this here first at the ACS Chemistry Festival. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me explain the chemistry behind what is happening in solution. Now, in our solution A, our ascorbic acid reduces or changes the form that iodine is in to iodide. Now, iodide cannot in that current form interact with our starch compound. But don't worry, hydrogen peroxide is here to save the day. What it does, it changes the iodine, iodide back to iodine. And as the iodine now interacts with the starch molecule to give us our different color changes. Now, or I should say our blue black color change. But what you notice it changed at different times. It is because we diluted the amount of ascorbic acid in each instance. Remember, in each glass, we only added one teaspoon of our solution A that contained ascorbic acid and iodine solution. Only thing that varied was the amount of water. This had in one teaspoon of water, two, and four. Now, based on the concentration, you'd expect interactions to take at a longer pace with one teaspoon of water it wasn't so much diluted so the reaction could occur at a faster pace versus two it still will be somewhat in between that of the first and the final one which had four teaspoons of water which would have taken the longest amount of time and this is the iodine clock reaction in the next part we're going to show you that it actually occurs in both glasses at the same time we can show you that 
we need to have a mixture right now. Okay guys, welcome back. Right now I'm going to show you that the reaction actually occurs uniformly right, right throughout when you mix in the solution B with solution A. Remember solution B having our hydrogen peroxide and our cornstarch and solution A having our vitamins C and our iodine. So let's begin. So the reaction is actually taking place right through the solution and you should start seeing it change color. And you see it starting to change color right through. Alright guys, I hope you learned a lot. Alright guys, you can use this experiment to do a more practical reaction. You can actually test the amount of vitamin C present in different products that you can find in the supermarket. You could try lime juice, a soda of your choice, and a fruit juice of your choice. Go to our website, you get further instruction, and you can be a part of our island-wide chemistry experiment. 